Oh, hello, 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 my friends. Scotty J here. And, uh, hey, Felix. Hey, buddy. Hey, so last time we came on up here chasing Briggs and we fought a giant salamander controlled by Briggs' grandma. However, it seems like we worked all that out and now we're cool, right? Yeah, we cool. All right, cool. Let's give her a chat, shall we? Hello. Ooh, put that thing down. This looks like a weapon. It looks like part of a trident, but it's only one third of the whole thing, it seems. Hmm. Why, could it be? Is this the legendary trident of Ancol? I'll hold on to this for you. It won't do you any good like this, and I'll keep it safe here. You seem unsure. You don't think I'll pull a fast one on you, do you? Do we? She seems fine. We think you're fine. Ah, that's nice. Don't you worry. If you bring me the other two pieces, I'll be happy to rebuild it for you. Oh, cool, thanks. Well, sounds like we have our marching orders. Let's get on out of here. That was a fun little diversion, I guess. You any better now, buddy? You guys don't look much like warriors, but you sure are brave to fight your way in here. Yeah, mind read. He thinks must be incredibly strong to get Briggs all worked up like that. Yeah, he, we be. Interesting. I do kind of like the uh, similarities of uh, like here versus say Loompa. Like, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but like having your uh, major towns in the cliffs like this. Oh. Aren't you the ones that caught Briggs and Alifrara? You don't look it, but you're pretty tough. That Felix sure comes off kind of high and mighty. I hate those self-righteous types. Man, we're just really quiet. We don't talk much, but we are big and imposing. That's pretty cool. All right, let's quick pop over to the inn, because it's been a second, and I think we need to heal after that sound better. Welcome to our inn. It's 72 coins for room. Would you like to stay? That is three times the price of Alifrara, I'll have you know. Robbery, I tell you. Robbery. I hope you slept well. Have a nice trip. Yeah, okay. See you, champ. All right. Let us get on out of here. Do 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 do. And oh, I see you've caught up with me again, Felix. Uh oh. Oh, that music is intense. Hello, Alex. 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 Who is Alex? Alex is a water adept. We've been traveling together, but he left us when we landed on Indra. A water adept? Ah, and I see you've made a new friend. You've been busy, haven't you? Yes. And you found yourself a new water adept. Do you mean to cast me away like old trash? Hmm? What do you want with us now, Alex? Or did you forget that you were the one who abandoned us? Oh, my dear Jenna. Have you come to despise me so, after all we've been through? Oh, legit, I can't hate you, Alex. I'm sorry. Everyone else. Duh, you're the one who left us. It's pretty clear who despises whom here. My, aren't we a bitter bunch? And I was just trying to help you with your little task. We have no need for your help. We can light the lighthouses without you. Oh, can you really? Karst! That's right. Karst, I'm flattered you remember. What is this, Alex? What's going on? Oh, how can I explain this? What's going on is Alex is demonstrating his remarkable foresight once again. Look at this getup. Like, all decked out in green with some, like, Dragon Ball-esque hair going on there. My guy, what are you... Okay, anyway... Oh, have you not had the pleasure of an introduction? He stayed back at the ship when I saw them in Mandra. I am Agito. Let's see, the guy's Felix and the girls are Jeddah and Shiva, which makes him Kraden. These look like an unreliable bunch of ragamuffins. Yes, they are rather useless, aren't they? That's why I finally had to abandon them, of course. Yeah, Jeddah and Sheep are having a little powwow back there. Oh, but now I believe I may have been hasty in my judgment. You are Piers? How, how do you know my name? Oh, how soon they forget. We met you before when you were being detained. 
Who could forget the amateur adept changing water to ice in that strange little town? Ah, you saw that! That must be how you knew Pierce was a water adept. In fact, I was even thinking of borrowing his ship at one point. You would steal someone's sh boat? That's so typical, Alex. Oh, you wound me, Jenna. I only meant to borrow it. Whatever you might have meant, that doesn't make it right. Oh, and just when I had was about to seize the opportunity, you just had to come back. You mean from Kimbopo? I was mere moments too late. Oh, isn't that a shame? Oh, still, because of that, I did meet Kars at Agito, so perhaps it was my fate. Hmm. Can you just stop talking about yourself for one second, Alex? Absolutely not, my dear Jenna. Enough of your childish jibes. Alex, I want to know what makes these punks useful. Because they brought us the orb that Akafuba had taken. That shows some resourcefulness. How so? The Kimpopo are quite warlike, or were at any rate. Recovering the orb was most likely not easy. They're just typical villagers, easily frightened by a small display of synergy. No, they would have used less abrupt methods than those you favor. Oh, what methods would those be? Alex said it clearly enough. We wouldn't terrorize people into doing what we wanted. Enough of this! Stop changing the subject. When are you going to light the remaining lighthouses? Yes, our patience is beginning to wear thin. If you waste much more of our time, we'll take those elemental stars and do it ourselves. If we had a wind adept like Shiva and the elemental stars, we wouldn't need you. Excuse me? I am, of course, opposed to their line of thinking. My experience with Satros and Minardi suggests that while they were fierce warriors, they were somewhat lacking when it came to solving the mysteries of the lighthouses. You mean to say that they failed to solve the riddles? Oh, miserably. Are you suggesting they were simple brutes, incapable of logic and intelligence? And you are saying the same of us? Oh, I'm afraid so. Alex, whose side are you on? I am on no one's side. My only concern is to see the lighthouse beacons lit once again. So you mean to leave the task to Felix? Then why have us come all this way looking for Felix? I merely wanted to confirm that he and his companions had not forgotten their quest. Is that truly all? I also wanted to introduce Felix to the two of you. Why would you want to do that? Oh, with Saros and Minardi gone, you probably felt very little pressure to complete your task. I cannot have that. What do you mean by that? Oh, with Saros and Minardi gone, I felt another pair. Oh, how should I put this? They could provide you with the proper incentive to complete your task. Is that some kind of threat? Oh, take it as you wish. I just wanted to provide you with the proper encouragement. So what, you've used us to your satisfaction? Now our role is done? You only wanted us around to flex a little muscle and scare them into action? Fine. I suppose we will let you go today. He's so incredibly green. Oh man. We will always be nearby, pushing you to make your way to the Jupiter Lighthouse, swiftly. Bye, you guys. Well, they seem nice, Alex. I look forward to seeing you soon, Felix. Oh, somewhere very near the Jupiter Lighthouse. Oh. Craden, am I right in recalling that you pursued this quest on behalf of Tolby's ruler, Bobby? This is true. I'm studying alchemy because Lord Bobby has ordered it. Hmm, what about it? Ah, uh, what a pity. It would seem all your studies have been for naught. What are you getting at, Alex? Oh, only that it seems that your Lord Bobby has at last succumbed to the ravages of time. No, oh, look, Lord Bobby is dead? Oh, so you didn't know. 
Lord Bobby? Dead? Could that really be true? Alex, how would you know such a thing? Oh, do not mistake me. I had no hand in Bobby's passing. However, the people of Tolby may be under the impression that our presence led to his death. Alex, cut the melodrama and get to the point for a change. Here's his own Alex for like five minutes and he's already sick of him. Simply put, I would recommend against traveling to North Gondawan for a while. I just thought it might be better if you focused on your quest instead of exploration. F for now. Oh, how kind of you. Oh, take it as you will. Very well, may we meet again. That guy, hate that guy, I love that guy, hate that guy. Anyway. See, the only reason Alex came here was to threaten us? And to bring us news of Bobby's death, despite the fact that we asked for no such news? Hmm, perhaps he had his own reasons for telling Creighton. What do you mean, Pierce? If Creighton undertook this quest on behalf of Bobby, then he no longer has any need. Oh, of course, I hadn't thought of that. Your orders were to find Lumaria, right, Creighton? Oh, that's right. But if Bobby really has died, you're free to go wherever you will, Creighton. Oh, that's not true, Shiva. Certainly my original reason for researching alchemy was for Lord Bobby. Was for Lord Bobby? That's the past tense. What are your reasons now? This is no longer solely for research. I do this because of what I've learned on this quest. Your research? What you've learned on this quest? I don't understand a word of this. I'm not following you at all. Of course you don't. Felix is the only one I've spoken to about any of this. Uh-oh. What, you knew? That's not fair. Tell us. Yes. Please, Felix. Let's not say too much about it just yet. It's far too complicated. Well, when will you tell us? I'm sure we will tell you once we get to Lumaria. Do you promise? Oh, I promise. Pierce, you don't mind waiting? Well, I cannot read minds like Shiva, but I have a guess as to what you're thinking. A guess? Oh, what do you mean? You are a great scholar, Creighton, are you not? I believe your theory is correct, and to prove it, I want to return to Lumaria as soon as possible. Well, all right, you heard him. Off to Lumaria, maybe, but not entirely. All right, hey, back to the boat. All right, so we have a little bit of side questing to do. We. So Karsten Agito seemed nice, you know. Very green and angry. Oh, hey, here we go. Excellent. Let us do one detour to Kimpopo real quick. Since they reminded me we haven't gone back there yet to uh, get that synergy buff. Oh. Urchin beasts. A pair of urchin beasts. Come to us, sweet urchin beasts. I wish to hit you with my sword. Haha. <laughs> oh, Pierce only does 90. Goodness, Pierce. Not, not hitting too hard. All right. Let's sail on inward. Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, so these two kind of take the role of Sadros and Minardi for a little bit, where they're uh, kind of Alex's, I don't want to say hired muscle, but effectively that. Oh, Merman! Merman, father. Merman! Get mermucked! <laughs> hey, there's a little cottage. We'll be visiting that later. Need to do a couple more things first. All right, let's pop out this way. Up over here. Get off that boat. Hey, here we are, Kimpopo. Oh, a mole and a bone fighter. Get him, Felix. 213. That's probably a little rude to do that, mole. Searing fog. Nice. Alright, and in we go. To Kimpopo. Hello, Kimpopo. Hello. <laughs> Alright, now into the statue of the great Gambuba. Hello, Gambuba. This is a funky little tune. Now we are way underground. Alright, let's explore a little bit. Down the stairs we go. 
Thank you. All right. And in here, this is where we get to start using the uh, Cyclone Synergy. But first, we can get to a friend. Oh, wait. Sheeves has got the Cyclone. Do it. Whoa. Into the hole we go. We. Oh, hey. Hey, man. Hey. All right. Let us save just in case and get him absolutely get him come here my little buddy fight me Woo. Venus Gen has appeared all right well, you shall astral blast him we will cutting edge him we will blue bolt him and we shall hail prism i guess why not astral blast him Ooh, 218 goodness felix hail prism 93 and all oh, the vision attack oh, that's cute. cutting edge for the knockout Hey, awesome. We got a friend. Which I believe is our fifth Venus friend. So now we're five, five, and six. Sweet. All right, Mud can go to Sheebs. Let's activate Sheebs. And now we'll get rid of that. Put you here on Piers. Why not? Well, actually, with all this now, let us... Hmm, let's tinker a little bit, because I feel like it's been a minute. So let's do this. Um, yes, I want to give all the Mars to Shiva. We'll get Mars Shiva for a little bit, why not? And then I want to make pure water uh, piers, just because we finally have all of the... Uh, I'll just give. So we have six, we can get a couple new fun synergies with that. Show that off. Plus, I gotta use frost this dungeon, so it's just nicer to have them all frosted up. Doo -doo -doo. All right, sweet. So we're looking at Jupiter, Felix, uh, Venus, Jenna, Mars, Sheebs, and big old Captain Pierce. Captain Pierce, he's a hero. Gonna use a cool move, bring the HP down to zero. Anyway, uh, let's go up the stairs before I sing anymore. This way. Slide on down. And Cyclone! Whee! So we technically could have come here uh, directly after going to Mandra. However, I don't know, it felt like uh, we were just here. So I wanted to do something else for a little bit. But now we're back, and it works out okay. I'm gonna go right, I think. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, no! Enemies! Alright, cool. Oh, they got us by surprise! That's it. very rude of you. And ice! Ooh, okay, so get him, get him, get him. Show off Pierce's new move. Diamondberg! Stunt clap! Took him right out. Defending, defending. Diamondberg! Oh, it looks so good! And 212 for Pierce. That boy was doing like 96 before. 212 is stellar. Alright, so Cyclone. Cyclone! Hey! Ooh, a mint! Let's go! Let's give that over to Sheebs. Excellent, excellent. Oh wait, Piers has the mana, I forgot. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, there we go. Triple mint power! Trying to save those for a later point in the game. We'll talk about that now. Alright, now I think I have to Cyclone here. Cyclone! And that will reveal a small little potto, which I will now hop over. Alright. Here's the frost. Frosty. Yeah! Alright. Excellent, excellent. Now let us run on up here. Ha ha! Ho ho! Oh no! Oh boy, spirit. Spirit. Bone fighter. Bone fighter! Nice. Nice one around, Anna. Piers for the 117. Good work, Piers. But yeah. So all of the, at least the base single target synergies can do that. So Ragnarok has an advanced form, and I think uh, Heat Wave and Plume also do. Reveal. Sorry, space on what we were doing for a second. Reveal. Let's go down the stairs. Excellent. Anything of note right here? Cyclone. Nope. Okay. Oh boy. Water puzzle! Now this place is a titch annoying because it kind of plays tricks on your eyes of where you can and can't go. Flash Edge! 
Nice. Haha! Good hits, good hits. Do, 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 do. Oop. Nope, so I can't go that way. I gotta go this way. There we go. Oh boy, Bone Fighter, Spirit, Bone Fighter, Spirit. Siri Fog. Good hit, Jenna. It is kind of nice to have fast Jenna again. After a couple sessions of her being uh, Mercury Diced. And then down. There we go. Sweet. We made it. And. Cyclone! Whee! Excellent. Out of the water. Get frosty. Frosty lady. Frosty. Anyway. Oh no, the Death Head can attack! Come here, sweet Death Head. I wish to fight you. Hey! Hey! Ooh, Shine Plasma! Well, ooh, we gotta use Shine Plasma. Oh no! He slipped. Alright. Down, down. Um, down this way. Ooh. Oh, 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 someone's getting Shine Plasma. Jenna got it, right? <gasps> we have Planet Divar on Jenna! Okay, we have so much fun synergy, we have to start doing some fun stuff now. Okay, so, we'll just let you normal attack. We, we have to Planet Divar. We have to Planet Divar. Ooh, Wind Slash and Shine Plasma. Let's use Shine Plasma, and then we'll let Pierce almost run. Shine Plasma! Okay, so this is regular Plasma, but bigger. Okay, okay. Alright, let's run on back down. And hey, we made it back. Excellent. Now then, we shall do a hop, skip, and a leap. Up. And over. Haha. -ha. Oh no. Oh, we get to attack first. Alright, well, I'm gonna smack. We have to planet dive. Ah, we have planet dive so much. Planet dive. Ah! 182. Yay. And Felix, get him, Piers. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We go down. We go. I imagine. And oops, spot the cyclone. We must cyclone. There's grass. There for a spin. Oh no, it's a mad plant. Mad plant. How could you? You're gonna get wrecked. All right, that's an astral blasting. Planet Diva. Oh, we'll go wind slashing. Diamond bug. Wind slash. Sixty. Astral blast on. Two hundred. Planet Diva. 24. And we got a game ticket for our troubles. Nice. That's going to Jenna. Here you go, Jenna. Alright, it's just, just you, right? Like, are you anything? You're not. Okay. Oh, hey, we made it. Sweet. Let's run on up. Ooh. By reaching this place, you have proven your power. By rights, Akafuba should bear this power. But I shall keep my promise and bestow it upon the one who reaches this place first. I'm grateful for your promise, but I am worried that we have done Akafuba and the Kimbopo a great wrong. Akafuba has not honed his own powers, and the fault lies within him alone. And yet there is a hint of truth to what you say. Oh, then what do we do? Does this mean we won't receive your magic? As I have said, I will give you the power to you. Your concern is misplaced. But I must add a small condition to our agreement. Oh, what kind of conditions? You must not mention this to Akafuba. Akafuba was plainly ill-prepared for this test. He will lose heart if he hears what you have done. And yet the Kimbopo have need of this ill-prepared leader. If Akafuba reaches this place, I will teach him the magic as well. Promise me you will not tell Akafuba that you've earned this magic. Can you do this? Of course. Of course. Now then, I shall sleep. Farewell, successor to the Witch Doctor. Hey, we got a book. Woohoo! We got the Tom Together Nama. I think Tom Gather Icon. It's neat. So this is another uh, synergy giving item similar to the whip and the card. It's kind of cool. We might mess with that another time, I think. For now, let's get on out of here. Retreat! Yahoo! Off we go. Hey, at the Great Kambuba statue. Let's go. Down we go. And out. So we clearly shouldn't go see Akafuba dressed as a witch doctor and be like, uh, hey. It would not go over well. Hey, the boat. Hello, boat. Alright. On to our next area. Whee! 
So yeah, that was a fun little diversion. Got a new realm of synergy. Got a Dijin too. Yeah, buddy. So now let's prep on to our next location. Do do. Ba da do. Hello, Merman. Nice. Alright, and I think is it right here? Oh no, we gotta go a little lower. Is it right here? Hey, there it is. We made it. Hey, whoa, hey now, what what is this? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to uh do a little side quest earlier, and this is all the way back by Thundaria Tower, so I figured I would just uh get this out of the way now, so we don't have to watch me do it later. Woohoo! Don't worry, we'll be back to our reg regularly scheduled Shrine of the Sea God soon enough. For now, though, we're just going to do some nice, lovely iceberg hopping. Wee, wee. So this is the start of a mini-quest series, actually, where we need to help, I believe it's three different animals with something. And it's kind of like a trade chain, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending if you like these sort of quests or not. So let me get mine read back set up. What's he got? My darling Penguela hurt her leg on the far shore and can't swim back. Somebody please help her. That sounds like us. Hello. Oh, my leg. I can't get back to my dearest Pengus. Dearest Pengus. Goodness. Well, let's get this energy stone and get you back to Mr. Pengus. Dr. Pengus? Nah, it seems like a Mr. Pengus. Alright, <laughs> just push you on back. Well, I'm glad the physics work. Wee! 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 Yay! Happy. Oh, thank you so much for saving my sweet Panguela. Allow me to give you this in return for your help. Hey, we got a pretty stone! Excellent. I'm so glad to be back on this side again with my precious Pangus. Ah, uh, yes. Well, cool. That was actually all we had to do here. So, we'll be right back. Let's go! Hmm. Well, we're closer to the Shrine of the Sea God. Actually, so I forgot. There's a small thing we have to do here first. Let us go to the Sanctum, I believe, which is straight ahead. Yes. Excellent. We gotta hop on down and frost a couple things. Oh, yes. It's frosted. Actually, let me just set this to R while we're thinking about it, since we'll be using it a bit. Frost. Oh, that was probably that was a useless point of frost. Well, we'll use it anyway. So we need to get up there is an item that we'll need for the Shrine of the Sea God. So let's get it now. Sweet. And up. And over. Sneak behind this guy. It's a cool little spot he's got to hang out in, though. Like, that looks nice. Hey, hey. Sea God's Tear. Excellent. So it looks like I should be able to hop over to that, but I can't. Oh, well. Anyway, let's get on out of here. And I will properly head over to the Shrine of the Sea God. Promise this time. Totally will be going there. No more diversions. Look at that. Even the transitions are working normally. All right. In we go. So now last time we were here, we needed to get to that spot with, uh, there was what, those four frost points we had to go to? Ooh, we gotta use Lash. We need to use Lash in a minute. Lash, Lash, baby. Yes. So we'll need to travel on up back to the frost points. Do, 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 do. Alright. Ba-da-ba. Doop-da-ba. Can I just go down? Nope, okay. That's a different spot I gotta go. Do, 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 do. Oh, I should have set that up, maybe. That's obnoxious. Okay, well, time to go the long way. Pew, pew. We fall once again. But there's no du Jupiter Dijin here. Sad. Hey, wobble. Well, well, regular wolf. Giant bat, giant bat. Come here, lads. Let's just overrun here real quick. <laughs> Sorry, lies. And down and over. And to the left to save some time. Hey, those footprints are gone now. That's funny. Alright, and then 
down this way and up this way and an angle worm hello angle worm bye angle worm there we go here's our frost points let's use them frost and frost and up and a frost Whoa. frost frost baby up the ladder we go hibbity hobbity hoobity hey and over excellent here we are this was a confusing little spot if i recall Whoosh. Hey. Sweet. Hey, look at that. We're right at the shoreline. What an interesting shot we got with that. Alright. Now we are here. Oh, got a lash from the other side. I see, I see. Hmm. Wild Wolf. Still, it's just odd seeing, like, the equivalent of level 1 enemies again. Bye. Ooh, okay. Well, let's look at her a little bit. Oh. Hmm, there's a chest there. And another lash point there. Okay. So if I take this down, what happens? Whoa! Whoa! And we stop. Okay. Hmm. This just lets us lash back up that way. So then what's this way? Oh, this is kind of that way out spot. Okay, well, let's move you so we have... Oh, not frost. Whoopsies. Let us... Let's move. Ooh, hard. Yeah. That'll lock that one in so we can escape out easier. Or if we ever need to come back here. But now, what's over this way? Oh, this is the other side of that room. Yes. And once again, I don't believe we can get to that spot. Oh no, we can actually. We just use reveal right here. Reveal. And we can hippity hoppity. The statue looks a lot like the one in Dahlia's Sanctum. We can use a pretty gem. No. We shall use the Sea God's Tear. Use! And just like that, the water level goes up! Scooby that. Hey, and now we're at the tippy top. Hmm, sweet. Climb even higher. Ooh, look at this spot. Way higher now. Whoa, still level one enemies. I was wondering if it would change at some point. And yeah, searing fog. Nice work, nice work. Up we go. Wow, there it is. Hey, that's another piece of that trident. Let's get it. Hello. Uh, 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 oh my goodness. There we go. Two legs checked on the ground. The right prong to Shiva. Hey, excellent. That's two of three down. Sweet. Let's hop and be reckless. All right, now, normally I just retreat out of here, but there was a chest back there. And I want to see if we can get it. So I want to try. Do, 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 do. Can we use you to go back down, please? We can! Excellent. Do, 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 do. Whoa! The water level go back down. Huh. So odd. Sweet! Alright, let us... Ah, frost. Yes, frost the whole lake. Cool, cool. Reveal again. Uh huh. Oh, sweet. Ba -doo -ba -da, doo -doo -ba -da -ba -da. Awesomeness. Oop. This way, that way, that way. And up we go. And this way now. Alright, let's try and fall correctly this time. Is there anything up this way? No, there's not. Okay. Lash, lash, baby. All right, up now then. Hmm, let's take the lower route this time, perhaps. Oh, oh hey there. Oh no, we were caught by surprise. Hey now. 
Uh -huh. Oh, he, ha, ha. Get him! Absolutely get him! Yeah, buddy. All right, down we go. Up we go. We can hop. That doesn't lead me anywhere, right? Correct. I know, so we'll go here and fall. Ah, and then this. Yes, this will let us go to this chest. Sweet! Oh, we got a rusty staff. We'll need to go visit Sunshine really quick. Lash? Actually, we can just retreat now. We don't even need to lash. All right, let us retreat! Get on out of here. All right, and with that, we have gotten two pieces of the trident, a rusty staff to go visit Sunshine with, and yeah, that's all. We also met Karsten Agito earlier today. So cool. I think for now, then, we will call it a day with that. Hey, thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. This is Scotty J signing off. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. What a dun dun.